Hi, this is Naveen, and I'm going to show you how to use Colony Count to count bacterial colonies. So to begin with, you want to make sure that you have the right file in the, in the current folder that you're in for MATLAB. Colony Count's over here. So then, if, we have any, if you want to review anything that you learned in this video, you can type help, and then Colony Count, and that'll give you a nice little overview of step-by-step -step instructions. From there, we can now type in name of the program and the exact location of where we, the image is that you want to count colonies on. With the JPEG or the PNG or whatever the file extension is. So from there, it pulls up the picture. A little reminder to use help if you need any tutorials. You drag the cursor around the entire dish to zoom in. We can move it around, we can resize it, whatever you want to do. Double click inside when you're done. So now we have it zoomed in on the specific part, the plate that we're interested in. You want to make the circle by dragging it. Again, we can move it around and resize it. You want to make sure that you don't overlap any of the edges over here because that's going to then get counted as a colony. It's okay if there's a few things on the outside. We can add those later. And then, once we think we're just about good, go ahead and double click inside. So, the colonies have been counted. Now, from at this stage, we want to add whatever colonies weren't counted. There's a whole bunch up here. So that turns blue. If we make a mistake, like I accidentally just did that, and that's not really a colony, I can undo it here, and it fades to black. So if there's a couple more over here, add those. So then, when that's good, go up here. It's also keeping track of how many were auto count and how many we've just added. And now we can click the colonies that were wrongly marked. So over here it's just a smudge. So we can count that as wrong. This, this looks like some junk. And then if I accidentally again click off somewhere that shouldn't be a colony, I can undo that and it fades so that's not count anymore. Went down from 6 to 5. So that should be good. Click here. And it gives you a nice readout of the S total estimate, including whatever you've added and subtracted. And yeah, that's just about it.